You know, walking is pretty underrated, but it's actually just as good as a full-blown gym session. But yeah, you have to dedicate a lot more time to it. If you're not a fan of lifting weights with heavy metal on in the background, this is definitely the choice for you. But before you grab your coat and run outside, we're going to do an experiment. This is Bob, and he's nailing his goal of walking 20,000 steps every day. He's been doing it for a while now, and he's seen big changes to his body and health. Let's watch those changes step by step. So, Bob just hates gyms. He doesn't like to sweat lifting dumbbells, and he can't stand those sore muscles the next morning. And Bob really isn't a people person, so he feels uncomfortable in a gym with a whole bunch of strangers. He wanted to get rid of all of his problems, so he took up the most effortless sport there is, walking. He did a whole evening of research online and kept coming across this number, 20,000. It's the number of steps that burns the same amount of energy as a full session at the gym. Bob picked up his phone and downloaded an app that counted his steps throughout the day. He was surprised and frustrated. Like the average Joe, Bob walked less than 4,000 steps a day. That's about 2 miles. But now he needed to walk 5 times that. So Bob just replaced his nightly movie with an hour-long walk. That should be enough. At the end of the next day, Bob came back from the fresh night air, picked up his phone again, and looked at his score. What? 10,000 steps? That's only half! But Bob was determined to make this change in his life. The next morning, he woke up two hours early. All this in order to leave his car in the driveway and walk to the office. Bob felt terrible for the first half hour. He was basically still asleep, and his eyes kept closing on their own. But the fresh morning air made him feel better. And when he got to work, he actually felt pretty good. But in the afternoon, his lack of sleep came back with a vengeance. Bob had to drink a lot of coffee to make it through the rest of the day. And when Bob got home, he was exhausted. He only had enough energy to make himself dinner and crawl into bed. Well, the evening walk was kind of a bust. Looks like that morning walk did him more harm than good. Next morning, Bob drew up a new plan from scratch to reach his goal of 20,000 steps. The main idea was to get those steps in, not in huge chunks on an evening walk or on the way to work, but in small chunks throughout the day. The next morning, Bob woke up as usual and felt great. This time, he drove to work, but he parked in the furthest spot possible. That was a 10-minute walk right there. Oh, and instead of the elevator, he took the steps up to his 6th floor office. On a regular workday, he had to send texts and emails back and forth with his co-workers. But today, he didn't send out a single email. He went to see everyone in person. Some colleagues were just a couple of desks away or in the next office over. But others were on different floors or even in neighboring buildings. So if Bob wasn't up to his ears in paperwork, he carved out some time to shuttle over and talk with his co-workers in person. Lunchtime! Instead of eating in the cafeteria and then staring at his phone for 40 minutes out of boredom, Bob brought his lunch from home. He walked 15 minutes to a nearby park and ate in the fresh air. Another 15 minutes back to the office. That's another half hour. And Bob was back at his desk just in time for the end of his lunch break. Time for the weekly meeting with the boss. Okay, our hero's already in the waiting room, but the assistant says the boss is running late. Well, instead of just sitting in the chair and waiting, Bob decided to take a walk around the reception area. Great! 10 more minutes of walking in the bank. And quitting time! Bob picked up his jacket and got ready for the trip home. Once again, it's the stairs all the way down and a short hike to his parking spot. Bob got home and had a great dinner. And today, he didn't feel tired. He was actually happy to go out for his evening walk. Bob decided to walk to the lake outside of town and back. Just as he got home, he got a notification on his phone. It was his step tracker, and it was lighting up like the 4th of July. 20,000 steps. That's about 10 miles, almost as much as the length of Manhattan. For the entire week, Bob lived his new routine and used the same route every day. To achieve his goal, Bob walked for a total of 3 hours every day. 
He only had 24 hours to work with, and 8 of those hours were for sleeping. So, those 3 hours were a big part of his day. Bach came up with another goal – use that time for something useful. So, he went back to his desk and started planning. At first, he tried music on his evening walk, but that got a bit boring. Then, he listened to podcasts. He got so into them that he walked right into a lamppost. And then a brilliant idea popped in his head. Share the love, share the steps. The very next day, Bob wasn't alone on his walk. He brought a four-legged friend along. Bob became a volunteer at the local dog shelter. And now every walk was a chance for one lucky dog to snip a bunch of trees and stuff. One night, the dog was just too cute. And now Bob has a dog. Every day, he has the epic motivation to get out of the house and pump out those steps. He's taking care of his friend. In the morning, he wakes up to the dog licking his face, begging to go outside. In the evening, the dog meets Bob, and they go to the park together. They're both happy, and now this gym substitute feels like a chill hobby, no stress at all. So, Bob lived like this for two months. He walked 20,000 steps every day. And what happened to his body? You can congratulate Bob, he lost 8 pounds. And he wasn't even trying to lose weight, just the opposite. All that walking made him hungry all the time, he was constantly eating, and he wasn't on some special diet. He was still eating the occasional burger and fries, pizza, and a whole lot of sandwiches. But that magic number of steps a day was enough to make Bob's fat start to melt right off. But it wasn't just the weight. Bob's overall health improved. Walking for at least 30 minutes a day reduces your risk of heart problems, and Bob was doing 3 hours. Bob's legs and joints stop hurting after a lifetime of sitting around all day. That's because walking helps lubricate and strengthen the muscles that support your joints. And it increases oxygen levels in the body. It's more invigorating than a cup of coffee. And those awesome happiness hormones that get released made him a hit at the office. So, say you want to go all Bob and start walking 20,000 steps a day. Remember a couple of important details. It's better to do a whole bunch of 15-minute walks than one or two marathon sessions. This will keep your legs from getting tired or injured and allow you to manage your time better. If you're walking in the evening, wear something reflective on your t-shirt or pants. If it's sunny out, wear a cap and use sunscreen. Three hours of sun is a lot. Your shoes should be comfortable and have good ankle support. Definitely don't wear your work shoes. And so you don't get bored during your walk, share that time with your thoughts, music, friends, family. Or you can always get yourself a furry friend. All that walking is going to be useful for both of you. Hey, check it out! Your bones are designed to be used a lot every day. Some of them can absorb the force of two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. When you bite something, they can withstand incredible pressure, up to 200 pounds. By the way, the enamel is considered to be a part of your skeletal system. Whenever you rotate your hand, the bones inside your forearm cross. Grab hold of your arm and turn your palm to face first upward and then downward. You'll make sure it's true. Not only is your body 60% water, your bones contain some liquid too. About 25% of the human bone mass is made up of water. The human eye has something in common with a car engine. They both can't work properly without various liquids. The eye needs tears as much as the engine needs oil. Tears should be evenly spread over the surface of your eye. That's why you blink up to 20,000 times a day, and your eyelid plays the role of a windshield wiper. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea, the clear front surface of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears on the outside and special fluids on the inside. When you blush, it means there is increased blood flow in your body. And then, not only your cheeks, but also your stomach lining gets somewhat red. It's because it has plenty of blood vessels. When there's more blood than usual in them, the lining blushes. Your stomach lining gets replaced every 3-4 to days. This prevents the organ from eating itself. The digestive acids there are exceptionally powerful. 
people can accidentally swallow small objects, such as glass, plastic items, coins, and many others. Normally, they don't cause any harm and pass through the digestive tract within 48 hours. Tiny quantities of plastic you might consume by mistake won't harm you. But your stomach will have problems with digesting grass. Grazing animals have special teeth and stomachs to process raw leaves and grass. People aren't equipped that way. Moo. The stomach is the most important protector of the immune system. It contains hydrochloric acid. This acid gets rid of dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria that come along with the food you eat. The stomach itself would be digested by this strong acid if the mucous membrane didn't protect it. You've got two really fast muscles. They control your eyelids closing. They're the swiftest in your body. Your eyes are fragile and need protection. When a special reflex is triggered, for example, when something suddenly touches your eye, these muscles only need one-tenth of a second to shut the eyelids. Women usually blink more than men. Plus, the older you get, the more frequently you do it. By the way, when you watch a movie with a friend, you both blink in unison. Do you think you owe your firm handshake to your strength workouts? It's more likely thanks to your pinky. Eh, just kidding. And still, the pinky is the strongest finger out there. It's responsible for 50% of the entire hand strength. But the most used finger is the thumb. If a person loses it, their hand becomes 40% less agile. Oh, and the thumb has its own pulse, thanks to the artery running through it. Your big toes carry more than 40% of your weight, more than all the other toes combined. All in all, all your toes are a big deal. They provide support and balance when you walk. And when you run, they help you to be faster. No more than 2% of people have natural red hair. They're followed by blondes, about 3%, and all kinds of brown shades, about 11%. But the world's most common hair colors are black and dark brown. Hair is almost indestructible. It can be burned or affected by strong acids, but that's pretty much all you can do to destroy it. Your hair usually stops growing at a certain length, and since a hair lives for 2 to 7 years, its length doesn't normally exceed 42 inches. <laughs> Tell that to this lady from China, who got to the Guinness World Records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, it was a bit more than 18 feet 5 inches long. Wow, what a drag! <laughs> nails can grow staggeringly long, too. Some of the longest nails in the world belong to this guy from India. Their combined length was 29 feet 10 inches, which is almost as long as a London double-decker. The man cut them off back in 2018. Nailed it! Nails do help us catch small objects and peel stickers off. But that's not all. If you didn't have a rigid structure to press against, you wouldn't be able to understand how firmly you should hold things. Not only your hair and nails, but also your liver can grow. It's the largest internal organ by mass. The liver can fully regenerate from only 51% of its original mass back to the full size. At the same time, constant damage to the liver will result in scars. The largest organ in your whole body is the skin. It makes up more than 15% of your total body weight. People lose 30,000 to 40,000 skin cells every single minute. It adds up to 9 pounds of skin cells a year. You know that dust in your house? Well, now you know where some of it comes from. The tongue isn't the only organ that helps you recognize taste. Your nose also plays a critical role in this process. It's often said the nose is responsible for 75 to 95% of your taste perception. Try holding your nose next time you eat, gnaw on an onion, or eat some smoked fish. It's not that you won't feel any taste at all, but it's going to be way blander. Your taste buds won't work properly if your mouth is too dry. You simply won't feel the taste until the food is covered in saliva. It contains enzymes, which are complex protein molecules. They start to break down your food as soon as it gets into your mouth. A recent study has found out that people can distinguish more than a trillion smells. You tend to remember odors better than sounds or images. That's why smells can evoke distant memories. When you're asleep, you don't feel any odors. Your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. Even if there's some terrible stench in your bedroom, you won't notice it. I'm sure my dog is relieved to hear that. 
The color of your dreams seemed to be affected by the TV you watched as a kid. If it was black and white, you probably see monochrome dreams more often than not. If you're used to color television, your dreams are likely to be colorful. Hmm, what kind of dreams did people in the Middle Ages have then? Nights that say need? Your heart can give you away when you lie by starting to beat faster. Women's hearts are usually smaller than men's, that's why they have to work harder and make more beats. Otherwise, they won't be able to pump enough blood. Even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouthwash, your mouth still remains one of the dirtiest parts of your body. Millions of bacteria live there. The good news is that most of them are good for your health. They protect your body from bad bacteria and viruses. The second dirtiest place is your belly button. You don't really use it after you were born, so this forlorn area accumulates all kinds of germ, sweat, and dirt. The belly button has over 2,300 bacterial species, and it does need extra attention. They say eyes don't grow with the rest of the body. Well, it's not 100% true, because the eyes aren't fully developed until you're about 21. But the absolute growth champions here are your ears and nose. They never stop growing. Wow, what was that thing about elephants again? Must have been a different video. If all your blood vessels were stretched into a single line, dang, you would be in a really tough spot. But they would go round the earth four times. You can't tickle yourself, no matter how hard you try. You've just checked that and failed, haven't you? That's because your brain warns you that you're about to be tickled, which it can't do if it's someone else. <laughs> Ever wondered why you feel so sleepy after lunch? One of the reasons is your circadian rhythm, which runs on a 24-hour cycle. It demands that you have a nap 7 hours after waking up. And the food just adds to this effect. As simple as that. Oh, excuse me, it's time. Most people are sure that humans only have five senses, but that's not entirely true. Taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing aren't the only ones we have. Scientists claim that people have between 9 and 20 senses in total. These include thermoception, the sense of warmth, equilibrioception, the sense of balance. There's also the sense of time, although not everyone seems to have that last one. We used to think that there were just eight different blood types, but in reality, there are over 30 known blood group systems. For every pound of fat you gain, you generate one mile of new blood vessels to supply oxygen and nutrients to your body. Your stomach produces a new lining every six days to avoid digesting itself. Nerve cells transmit 1,000 nerve impulses a second. They travel between 1 and 268 miles per hour. Our DNA contains 100,000 viruses. Scientists have discovered one that goes back 100 million years. Your body emits visible light. You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is 1,000 times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals, like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. If you walked 2 miles per hour, you'd have to walk for 20 hours straight to lose 1 pound. And it would take you 518 days and 8 hours to circle the equator. Earwax isn't actually wax. It contains fat, skin cells, sweat, and dirt. Your brain gets three times bigger over the first year of life and reaches its full maturity when you're 25. 60% of it is fat. Your brain generates around 23 watts of electrical power, which is enough to run a small light bulb. Humans can't really multitask. Your brain can't perform more than one action at the same time. It switches between them, which doesn't save time as you might think, but increases the possibility you'll do something wrong and makes the process longer. When you have an exam to take, or you're at work trying to focus on an important task, try chewing gum. Research showed it can help you stay concentrated for longer on tasks that require your full attention. Studies even say that it's a better test aid than caffeine. 
There's nothing special in the gum, but the act of chewing wakes your brain up. The effect doesn't last long though, just for 20 minutes. Embryos develop fingerprints at three months. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. Sunburn is the result of radiation exposure. When your body's natural defense mechanism gets overwhelmed trying to fight UV rays, a toxic reaction occurs that results in sunburn. Goosebumps are an evolutionary reflex left over from our ancestors. The release of adrenaline made their hair stand up, and they look scarier to approaching predators. Your body produces one to three pints of saliva every day. It helps you digest food and fights off infections. You also have a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. The average amount of bacteria in a person's mouth is almost the same as the number of people living on Earth. That's hard to digest. Each human has roughly 150,000 hairs on their head. Every strand grows around one half an inch per month. If we added the growth from each hair, it would measure the distance of 10 miles in just one year. Your hair is also a lot stronger than you think. A single strand can hold three ounces, which is the weight of an apple. If we combine the strength of all the hair on your head, it could support the weight of two elephants. Hey, let's try it. The beating sound your heart makes is the clap of valve leaflets opening and closing. Your heart doesn't replicate itself unless you have an injury. Your corneas are the only part of your body that don't get blood. They get oxygen directly through the air. When you're sitting or standing upright, it's easier for you to recall some positive memories that make you feel good. Some believe it's because sitting up with your back flat boosts blood flow and your brain gets more oxygen, which helps it function better. The man who has the deepest voice in the world, and that's definitely not me, can produce sounds that humans, including him, can't hear at all. But elephants can hear those sounds. Veins look blue because light has to go through layers of skin and fat to reach them. Your skin scatters a lot of the red portion of white light before it reflects the blood. This leaves only the blue light to bounce back to your eyes. A person who has anosmia is unable to detect smells. Phantosmia is the opposite condition, when someone smells an odor that isn't actually there. The human brain has 100 billion neurons. It's 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of its liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. The earliest known person to have had blue eyes lived in the Stone Age, 7,000 years ago. Your right kidney is probably smaller and sits lower down than your left kidney to make room for your liver. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd keep gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. The average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. The tongue is the only muscle with ends not connected to bone. Other muscles join two bones at both ends because that's how we pull and make a motion. There are around 700 different species of bacteria in your mouth. Over six billion of them live there. Your skin is your largest organ. It can cover the surface area of two bath towels. It accounts for around 16% of body weight and is around 22 square feet. If you typed 60 words per minute for eight hours a day, it would take you 50 years to type the human genome. You get tired pretty quickly when you're out in the heat. This happens because your body is trying really hard to keep itself cool, which puts a lot of extra work on it. So you get exhausted and tired, even if you don't do anything physically demanding. Your body has 78 organs, but only five of them are essential for survival. The brain, liver, kidney, lungs, and heart. Oh, the phone's ringing. It must be something urgent. At 11 p.m. Only all the gadgets in the house are silent. 
It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night, when nothing distracts you. Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. That's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Left-handed people usually prefer to chew on the left side. And right-handed people, well, you guessed it, chew on the right. Even if your fingerprints are damaged, they'll grow back in the same unique pattern. When breathing, a single lung only uses 5% of the oxygen you've inhaled.